Hi guys and welcome back to episode 2 of Build a Nation with Cork City. Right now today, what I want to do is get through at least two games. So our first game is going to be against Waterford. Now that should be quite a comfortable win, but I'm trying out a new tactic that I've not tried at this sort of level, these sort of players. So we'll see how we get on with that. The second game I want to do is I want to skip through the Derry City one and come back to the St. Pat's Athletic because I know they're one of the best teams in the league and that'd be a quite exciting game to uh, to watch. So what I'll do is I'll show you the players that I've brought in. I've technically brought in two, but one of them, due to previous saves of Cork, I'm pretty sure, a part of Cork anyway, but I'll get to that in a minute. So the first one I brought in was Brendan Maloney, Moloney? I think it's Maloney, on a free transfer. Now, looking at his stats, he's pretty decent. Like, he's an all-round decent player. He's, he's 29, so he's getting on a little bit. But I think he's in his prime, and he'll do us a really good job for a couple of years at least. Because it's hard to buy players, and you always want your homegrown players. Not on too much, much wages either. £650 a week. It's not that bad, really. But just looking at his stats, like, they're not that bad. Like, average physicals. Um, yeah, pretty much average mentals as well. And um, yeah, just all around an average player, but I think he's a steal for this sort of level. Yeah, he's played decent level of football, like not amazing, but he was at the championship, got a couple of games as well. So yeah, he's had an all right career for Forest by the looks of it. Yeah, not bad. Um, the other one I was talking about is Danny Kane. Now I've done some saves with Cork before over the years, and I'm pretty sure he was part of the club. Yeah, like if you look down here, but you can't click on it, it's cork. So I think, because I'm using a updated database from Sort It Out, SI, and I'm pretty sure they've made a mistake, unless he has been released now. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, that's the only two transfers, because these were all done beforehand. No, I didn't do those. Here's a tactic we're going to try out. Uh, it's very similar to the one I showed you guys in the last episode, but I've changed the Shadow Striker to the Attacking Midfielder on Attack. And the false nine I've changed to an attacking advance forward. I just feel like it's it's going to work better for our attack because when I try this on other saves, you get a lot of shots, but they're not on time. I just, I just feel from what I see, it just works better this way. So we'll give that a go at this level. Never tried it, so we'll see how it gets on. But this is the first team for now, but obviously we'll change it about depending on injuries and whatnot. We definitely need to improve our goalkeeper, though, because he is, yeah, he's 37. Getting on a bit of far older than what I would have at my club but I've got no choice at the moment because if we look at current goalkeepers I mean Targ Ryan he's he could be the replacement to be fair give it well a year I reckon but I'm looking at his stats I don't know if I agree with that because his stats for me are not quite there yet but um we'll have to see about that one but yeah without further ado let's get into the uh first game of the season Right, let's see if I recognise any players. Have a little scout of them. Damien Delaney, didn't he play for Palace? Pretty sure he played for Palace. Oh, he did, yeah. Nice bit of knowledge there. Right, let's get started. See, I, I do at the moment I'm doing automatic team talks because I don't really like doing them. I used to like doing them, but I feel like they don't work that well anymore. But we'll see how it goes. I'll, I might change it as time goes on. I just need to change a couple of settings as well. I need to watch the key highlights. And for replays, I I like to see the disallowed. So you can actually, you know, get angry if you need to. Alright, if anyone likes this skin as well, I've got it from, I think, again, sort it out, si.net, I think it is. It's, um... Work the space is collaborated with someone and did it. I, I'll, I'll find the link and put it in the description if I can. But it's quite a popular one. You normally find it quite easily. Right. Just under eight minutes gone. And we've got our first highlight of the game. Pretty decent football. But yeah, if, if you want to see like more games, like if you want me to play all of them, or if you want me to skip a big chunk of the season, if you guys can leave a comment in the um, set, comment section, that'd be great. Not sure what that goalkeeper's doing, but uh, we'll take that. 
I feel like he should have done better with that. Lovely ball by Connor though. Great little header onto Cummins. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the keeper done there. He got his hands onto it. He should have been able to clear that. But we'll take it. Ah, oh, lovely little dink again. Yeah, the only reason I watch this game is because it's the first game this season. Because I do think we are going to comfortably beat Waterford. Because I think they're definitely on the low end of the uh, table. I think they've only just come up. I could be completely wrong. Though. My knowledge of Irish football was not that great considering all the saves that I've done previously. I don't actually follow like the real life league. Jesus, Tilly, what a goal. Seven, well, just over 16 minutes gone and we are 3-0 up. Incredible, what a goal. Outstanding goal. Surely not another one, not to go 4-0 in under 20 minutes. Oh no, I think they're going to get a goal. <laughs> Keeper's reactions are terrible. That's the problem with this game, like, I think the animations don't all fit, like, what they want to show, if that makes sense. I'm not very good at describing that, but I think Sports Interactive haven't made enough animations to go with everything the keeper would do. So if you look at the data, he's probably done a, <laughs> done a good attempt for that, but it's not easy to see that. So Tilly's on the ball. Lovely ball over the top to Cummins, and he shoots. Ah, oh, he's hit the post. Go and shove a whip. Oh, no, no chance. We are comfortably winning this game. I'm just going to scout their keeper as well, because I recognise that name as well. That's what we might have to do. Poach the best players from our rival teams to um, make ourselves the best and them the worst. Tilly's on the ball. Lovely ball get No, not quite. That is a lovely switch. Oh, God. Ah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. <laughs> that just mirrored our Ferris goal. I'll give McNulty benefit of doubt being nearly a hundred years old. Alright, let's get to half time. Hopefully you stay at three one up. Don't want to throw away a three goal lead in the first half. Yep, I'm very happy with that. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll do a team talk. So I'm gonna Calmly say, yep, very pleased. Got nothing to bad to say about that. Lovely. See if we can get five this game. That's my target. Well, I don't expect too much from them. Boring second half. Uh, yep, let's do that. I tend to do my subs every, like on the 60th minute, 70th minute and 80th minute unless obviously injuries or whatever coming off you getting battered in a game. I just feel it's nice to spread them out, give people with low ratings a chance to get their rating up and play a bit better. I always seem to have a problem though, getting the right backs a good rating. I can never seem to get them a good rating. I don't know if it's the tactics I use, but even when I use ones loaded from the workshop, I just can't seem to get the right backs to play well. Griffin heads out to Feely. Duggan's on the ball. Oh, I've got a feeling they're going to cut through here. No. Nope. What a counter attack we're on now. What can Buckley do with it? On the volley. Oh, lovely goal. Lovely half volley by Cummins. That's my squeaky chair, by the way. 
That's a good play. Where are the defenders? Like, even if you're playing a high line, that is horrendous. We had three players. See, this is part of the problem, though. I know we're only playing Waterford, but it's getting the fans in to get money because you don't get a lot of competition money at all, which is part of the problem. But, um... Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, he's come on and he's not playing that well. Oh, he's got a hat trick. Let's give him a break and give Liam Nash a go. Lynch is playing awful for the other side. I don't know if this is the... Uh... Yeah, I think it might be the end of game highlight. Sometimes they do drag them on a bit, but the more you play it, the, the more you sort to realise at what times and the end of game highlights are. Some of them do drag on a minute or two. Unless someone's going to sneak a goal. Tilly over the top. Nope. Oh, football. Oh, they're going to count on us. Here we are. It's going to be a goal. Oh, dodgy but great save at the same time. That's surely got to be it now. Oh, come on, ref bloke. And that's it. Well, what a great win for the first game of the season. Away as well. Let's passionately. So, yeah. A lot of greens. That's what we like. Right, so um, my next game, as I said, I want to play against uh, St. Pat's. I think they're rated roughly as good as us, actually. Not one of the best teams. Let's have a look. Yeah, fourth. So they're still a decent team. So we'll come back in a minute and we'll play this game. So yeah, see you guys in a sec. Thought I'd come back to quickly show you the result we got in the last game. As you can see, it didn't go that well. Um, well, the Faris goal was a bit of a weird one. As you can see, it was an own goal by the goalkeeper. It sort of He took a shot from outside the box. And it hit the goalkeeper in the back after hitting the post and went in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like We did not play that great. Yeah, so we're, we'll ignore that one. But um, also, I think I'm going blind. All this game could be in a cup of snuck up on us. Because I thought it was, where are they, Sham... No, St. Pat's. Pretty sure that's the next game. But it just gets done, though. Can they be even better? I'm pretty sure they might be the favourites. Yeah, they are. So, yeah, that's going to be a tough game. But um, let's get it started and see how we get on. Right, fitness looking okay. Right, he isn't fully... Mate, you've played... What, uh, I suppose you're on a new... You haven't had much time to train. We'll give him a go and see what he gets on. Everyone else is quite fit. And hopefully we can get something out of this game. Yeah, I've said before, as you'll see, I'll, um, I'll be scouting a lot of players. I'll see him going because I recognise some names I wouldn't mind keeping an eye on. Right, see if we can go for in the cup. I think this might be sort of their version of the community shield, if I if I'm correct. You know, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. Just a one round cup. Get some silverware nice early on. Not a good start. Oh, this that's very close. That's not not what we want this early in the game. Players will compose, because this is quite important to look on. You want to look at the uh, body language and give you shouts. And I know they don't always seem that that much, like they make it much of a difference, but they do, especially when you're, like, their players are feeling a bit more motiv motivated. I mean, they've hit the, what, the post and the crossbar once now each, a piece. So at the moment, I can see them getting a goal. Morrissey back to McNulty and a nice clearance. Straight to their attacking player. McGrath, onto McKee, onto Flores, out to Duffy, he's going to wait for the overlap, yep, there we go, Gannon's going to cross it in, and thank God he can't hit a barn door. We've not even had a shot, that's quite concerning, and they have 10% more possession than us. Just need to get to half time at 0-0 and I'll be a happy man. And it looks like we've made it. Right, maybe I should do my team talks because when I start the game doing team talks, we don't like, and I let my assistant do it. We don't do that well. So if I go 
assertive, no, cautious, I think, and just sort of, let's have a look. We can get a goal, make it a favourite, so we can go out there and make it happen. No, we definitely not have been the better team. Um, I, I, I think that's a suitable one, because you don't want to pee them off. Right, okay, that didn't really get, well... All right, let's see what he does. Yeah, we both did pretty bad on that. Hopefully it hasn't affected the players too badly. At least there wasn't any negative ones. Might have to keep an eye on McCarthy. I'm just worried that he might get himself sent off. Really like a piece of silverware. I try and get one a year. I know that's quite ambitious, but in this country with the amount of cups they've got and how small the league is you can normally get quite a few quite a few trophies lovely ball over the top of the comment Cummins what can he do with it he that was awful you I would have just run back a little bit if I were you mate all right start again McCarthy on the ball on to Morrissey it's an ambitious ball over the top oh it's foul to Cummins oh great save Quickly, see, I know he's playing worse. Like I said, right backs don't play that well, but I, I kind of want to get the yellow card off. I mean, he's not playing great anyway. But we'll see how we fare. All right, Dundalk's on the attack. Lovely. No, ref, surely not. That was a great challenge. What? That looked fine to me. Oh, this is not good. <clears throat> so we're attacking with no spearhead. <laughs> I kind of got no choice though because I don't want to risk any defensiveness. So I want to keep the shape we've got. We'll just play without a striker and see what happens. Not a lot by the looks of it. I mean, we're lucky to be in this game, to be honest. We're not playing well. And Dundalk are the better team. We're hanging in there though. I don't know if it's extra time or just straight to penalties or what, although we may not get that. Can we nick one? Horgan with a long throw in. Cleared only as far as Buckley. Onto McCormick. Casey bangs one in and see. Oh, we've got ourselves a penalty, lads. Who's number two? Who's the hero? Potential hero. Come on, Horgan. Lovely little goal down the middle there. Keeper goes the wrong way. And that should be the winner. Don't need to see a replay for that. Oh no, surely not. Oh, is that offside? No, I don't think it was. Just clutching at straws. I'm not even sure what happened there. I hate when that happens on Football Manager. Just tease you of a goal. So Tilly clears out. That's surely a foul. That is a foul. Right, if this is a final, which I think it is, then it looks like it could be extra time. Yes. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to say... Calmly, I'm just going to say we're happy with that. Yep, all day. Right, so we're a man down, don't forget. Let's see if we can get something out of this game. Although, if you look at the stats, they have bombarded us. Although, possession's not bad, but they have bombarded us. Oh, lovely clearance of the line by Griffin. Right, we've made it to a second half of extra time. No foul ups. I got a feeling it's going to be a penalty shootout, and I am not good on penalty shootouts. My team just never has a good track record. Right, McKee on the ball over the top to Kelly. It looks like he's cut straight for our defence. Decent save.
Oh, can we get him on the break? Till he's on the run. Nah. I've just got a feeling we might nick it, you know. Against the run of play, we might proper FM him. Let's bang one up the pit. Go on. That'll work. Oh, Buckley straight at the goalkeeper. Just put your foot through it, son. I feel like that was a golden opportunity. Probably the best we'll get. Who is going to be sitting over by that barrier around there during a the game? It's such a weird layout. They need to improve that in next year's game. Some of the stands look really weird. Right, I have a feeling this might be the last highlight until penalties. I can't see there being another one. Is it ours? And is it a goal? Right, Horgan's on the ball. On to McLaughlin, he's going to go back to the goalkeeper. And then Dundalk can start again. It's like playing a game of ends at the moment. Lovely ball by Tilly. Shepard, use your man, use your man. Should have passed, it's number 11. Penalties it is then, I think. Although being a man down for quite a bit of the second half and all through extra time, we've done well to hold on to Dundalk. They've been the much better side throughout this game. Much better. Well, that's if we even make it. Oh. I thought it was a save then. Alright, penalties. I'll just auto pick this because, as you can see, they're all pretty bad. Apart from Cole Shepard, they're all pretty bad. Right, McKee with the first one. Can our Faraday eight-year-old keeper do us a favour? Yeah, he can, and what a save that is! Very agile for a Faraday eight-year-old. And Organ draw blood first. Oh no, he cannot. It's going to be one of those games. Going to be like sudden death, fifteen all, or something like that. Go on, Shepard. It's not a great pen, though. I don't, I don't like ones down the middle. I mean, I know if they keep it dives, you've got a good chance of scoring, but I just feel like it's a bit playing with fire when they go down the middle. I feel like our keeper should have got that one. It's not looking good at the moment, lads. Someone needs to change this. Who's going to be the hero? Come on, McNulty. Almost, that's a good pen. Nice power on it. Buckley steps up. Lovely pen. Let's come back out the goal here. That was so much power. Save it, come on. Oh, damn it. I think we have to score this now just to stay in. We do the long walk up. But yeah, they need to change this as well because when it gets a sudden death, this gets tedious. What's my namesake? O'Connor. Can he keep us in it? He steps up. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, I did tell you guys, I'm just not good at penalties on here. And it was a cup final, yet yeah. At our own stadium. That's painful. Well, I'm going to say we're unlucky. Yeah, he agrees. I agree with that. Just calmly say, unlucky, lads. 
Why? <laughs> I thought that wasn't bad. Right, so that's pretty much it for this episode. And we will come back. Well, what I was saying, I don't know. I don't know whether to play a few games first, get the season underway, you know. Otherwise, it could be a bit boring just watching your team play all the time and not really having something to fight for in the season that early on. Or maybe do what I did a minute ago and play every other game. But I'll have a little look through and I'll decide what I want to do. Because even though that's a quarter final, I have a feeling we should easily beat this team Passage. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye for now.